Hi everyone, it seems well Wheaton is at it again, and for some reason he seems to be coming increasingly obsessed with PewDiePie. You'll probably know that earlier in the week I posted a video about Will Wheaton attacking PewDiePie online for being a racist bigot. The next day he deleted the post because he says the comment section was filling up with vile, racist, homophobic, misogynistic, bigoted memes. To be honest, I was in that comment section for hours and I hardly seen any posts like that. And what Will Wheaton is trying to insinuate here is that if somebody is writing a racist comment, then that reflects on PewDiePie. It's got absolutely nothing to do with PewDiePie but people decide to post in your comment section. It's very clear that people are posting these things in the comment section just to get a rise out of him and it's obviously worked because he ended up deleting his post. The comments and memes that he received were obviously so diabolical and disturbing that he decided to take a second shot at PewDiePie. And last night he posted, This is a small representative sample of the comments people are leaving on my YouTube videos because they want me to know that the YouTube boy they like is not a racist or a bigot. As I'm reading these two comments, I'm going to miss out some of the words because these are words that I don't actually say and I'm not going to say them for a video, but let's carry on. You are an absolute massive and racist that's too to see you're a racist. Kill yourself and do the world a favour. No one will miss you. The next comment said, This guy is so stupid it's ridiculous. What a psychotic liar. Get cancer, bud. You're fake news. Now I don't know if it's just me here, but the whole point in his post was to say that people were leaving these comments to prove that they were a fan of YouTube Boy. But while I was reading those comments, I didn't see any mention of Felix, PewDiePie or his channel. So what's his point? You'll probably know that Will Wheaton is an author. So this post is extremely lengthy. I won't bore you with me reading it all. You can either check it out on his Facebook page before he deletes it again, or I'll put a screenshot at the end of this video and you can read it for yourself. One thing that I found interesting about this post is when he said, I don't know if YouTube boy has racism in his heart, but he says and does things that racists and other bigots think is fantastic. And that's incredibly dangerous when 92 million people most of them children subscribe to his YouTube channel. So Will Wheaton is saying that most of PewDiePie's subscribers are children. If you watch his channel, you'll know that he refers to his subscribers as the nine-year-old army. If you know anything about YouTube analytics, it tells you who's viewing your channel, and the very lowest age that it starts at is 13. So there would be absolutely no way to tell if your subscribers are nine years old or not. In 2018, PewDiePie showed his audience demographic and it showed as 11% being 13 to 17 years old, 28% being 25 to 34 years old, and 44% being 18 to 24 years old. Now, an 18-year-old isn't a child. PewDiePie calling his subscribers the 9-year-old army is just another joke that's went straight over Will Wheaton's head. So last night, I hung about in the comments section for a while, being attacked again for supposedly being a racist, even though these people know literally nothing about my life whatsoever. And one person commented, So what can we joke about in the future? Racism is out of the question, tragedies are out of the question. Just make stupid fart jokes or some stupid shit that nobody laughs about. Maybe get in touch with the younger generation first before you overanalyse. As I said in my last video, by the way, if you want to check out that video, I'll leave the link in the description box below. But as I said in that video, I don't tell racist jokes and I don't find racist jokes funny. But the reason I showed you this comment is because Will posted a reply. Once again, this was a very lengthy reply, so I'll leave it at the end of the video if you want to check it out, but this part stood out in particular. I'm asking you to think about how a person of colour or a Jew feels when they hear a white person making jokes about their race or religion. Just think about these things and think about what kind of person you want to be. In Will's deleted post, he spoke about how all black people feel about racist jokes and how they feel about PewDiePie. Once again, that's in my last video if you want to check it out. And this time, he seems to be talking about how people of colour feel and how Jews feel when white people tell jokes. But what about when black people tell jokes about Jews or Jews tell jokes about black people? Racism isn't a game of chess. It's not black and white. People can be racist all over the world against all different races. I'm not trying to say that racist humour is funny, but I'm also not trying to speak for every single other person on the planet. We're all individuals, we've all got our own humour, 
We've all got our own opinions and I think that Will Wheaton forgets that. Once again in the comments last night, the people were bombarding me with all these fake news articles. And one person linked me to the video where PewDiePie talks about subscribers leaving hate comments about his hair. If you've seen that video, you'll know that it's not racist. He shows a small clip of something. Now, what is the world coming to when you can't show a small clip as a joke? He doesn't say anything hateful in it whatsoever. And people are just losing their minds. The article that he linked me to talked about three videos. One was the hair video and one was the Fiverr video. So I says to him, have you actually watched these videos? And he was like, oh, you've obviously not watched them because you don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, why do these people not understand? I watch PewDiePie's videos every single day. I don't need you to link me your fake news. I've already watched them. I don't need to read any of this fake crap. Once I was done with the post last night, I went on to Will Wheaton's YouTube channel to check out all these hate comments that he was receiving and I didn't see any. I understand that you can put filters on YouTube comments, but it would have to be one hell of a filter to get rid of all these supposed comments that he was receiving. After I posted my video last time, it was mentioned on a few online articles, as well as a bigger YouTube channel, and that YouTuber gave me a shout out for providing some screenshots. It's so important to me that people stop reading these headlines and false news and just judging people over the crap that they're reading. Will Wheaton has an absolute cheek to refer to PewDiePie as YouTube boy because he hates it when people call him Wesley or Star Trek boy and he's just trying to be petty. One thing that I will say is that many of the videos I've seen talking about this are calling Will Wheaton fat and ugly. Personally, I don't think that he's fat and ugly, but even if I did, I don't think that there's a need to pull it down to that level. Personally, I feel that Will Wheaton is pushing this PewDiePie thing too far, yet he feels that he can speak out for all people of colour, all Jewish people, and he's dictating what people are allowed to find funny and what people are allowed to watch. And we all know who else was a dictator, don't we? With all that being said, let me know in the comment section what you think. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, I do realise that the sound on this video isn't great and at the moment I'm saving up for a mic. If you would like to donate anything, even a pound, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye!